All right. So even when it comes to the news of India-China soldiers clashing at the LSEA, making big headlines and rocking the parliament in the national capital, Times Now is the first and the only channel to get you the report along the LSE in Arunachal Pradesh. Now bringing you the updates and the insights from the news reports from the ground in the Tawang sector, which has seen emergence of the latest flashpoint on the Makmohan Live. While trying to find out that what are the reasons because of which the Chinese rattle is the construction work which is going on in Arunachal Pradesh. We are en route towards Bomdela and this is a route which leads towards Tawang. Tawang, the area where the standoff has been continuing and as you can see in my behind, there are several tunnels which are being constructed by India so that the route can be easier for the troops for further any kind of movement. We know that the India government has already constructed a big airport, a big runway, which is helpful for the uh, taking off and uh, landing of uh, heavy aircraft and Chinese, uh, the PLA and the Chinese uh, agencies, the security agencies have been keeping a close watch on every development. Well now, as far as the standoff is concerned, India has of course uh, made it very clear that they are going to keep an eye out and are of course not going to backtrack. Well, as far as the December 9th incident is concerned, a befitting reply was given from the Indian side. Let me bring in my colleague Shrinjoy at this point. Shrinjoy, even as we speak about this latest escalation, the question remains if there is more than what meets the eye. Because if we look at the number of deployments in the period of time from the Dragon side, it seems to be increasing increasing and it perhaps sends out the message that there is more on China's agenda than it what appears to be. Well, the Chinese are making it very clear that they are the superpower, they are a 15 trillion uh, economy and therefore India at 3 trillion uh, can be dealt with in a different way. This is what the Chinese attitude appears to be. But India is ready for China. You saw what happened this time. You saw that the Chinese were trying to prepare for this incursion. They were trying to prepare for it for about eight, nine days when they built up troops. India saw what was happening. There was an altercation, not a clash, on uh, 10 days, about eight, nine days before the ninth. And after that, India was ready. So when the Chinese came in three separate areas, India was ready. In that one area where they came with over 200 troops, the Jackrif soldiers were ready and they have given the Chinese a bloody nose. Mm. Now, mm. India has to wait and see what China does now. Because while there was a border, uh, a border meeting between at a brigadier level, the brigadier commanding 190 division was there, uh, we will have to see what the Chinese do not just in Arunachal, but also in the central sector, also in Ladakh. Let's not forget that whether it's Ladakh, whether it's the central sector, whether it's Arunachal, it's still China. It's still the People's Rep uh, Liberation Army of the People's Representative Republic of China. So the Chinese are on the warpath. Right. Uh, the uh, Ladakh situation may be little but easier. But even when it comes to a formal acknowledgement of uh, the Tawang clashes, is something that China still hasn't done it yet, especially talking about the injuries and uh, from their side of the soldiers as well there. Shrinjoy, please do stay on with us. Now